The Bible. The Bible has been in existence for nearly 2,000 years, which had me thinking, who actually wrote the Bible? Now, yes, of course, this isn't a new question by any means. As a matter of fact, for at least a thousand years, both Jews and Christians believed that the first five books of the Bible, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, were written by Moses, the Hebrew prophet who led the Israelites out of captivity in Egypt and guided them across the Red Sea toward the Promised Land. But how true is this? That's what I want to analyze today, so stay tuned. I'm Chris, and you're watching Faxma. <laughs> so we might as well start with Moses. Could he have written the first five books of the Bible? Well, according to some theologists, it wouldn't be possible. The reason? Well, there were things in the first five books of the Bible that Moses himself could not possibly have witnessed. His own death, for example, occurs near the end of Deuteronomy. By the time the Enlightenment began in the 17th century, most religious scholars were seriously questioning the idea of Moses' authorship, as well as the idea that the Bible could possibly have been the work of any single author. Those first five books of the Bible were filled with contradictory, repetitive material and often seemed to tell different versions of the Israelites' story even within a single section of text. So what about concrete evidence? Well, archaeologists have shed some light on the history of both halves of the Bible. The first half being the Old Testament, the story of the Jews' highs and lows in the millennium and before the birth of Christ. And then the New Testament, which documents the life and teachings of Jesus. These texts were written, according to tradition, by four of Jesus' twelve disciples, Matthew, Luke, Mark, and John. The books were written to present the story of the life and resurrection of Jesus Christ. According to scholars, the writing of the Gospels began around 170 AD. But even this theory doesn't quite add up. According to New Testament scholar Bart Ehrman, he says the New Testament Gospels were written 35 to 65 years after Jesus' death, not by people who were eyewitnesses, but by people living later. Where did these people, Matthew, Luke, Mark, and John, get their information from? The earliest manuscripts in which the Bibles have survived seem to have been copied in the late 2nd and early 3rd centuries, which is a century or more after the Gospels were originally written. And that's one part of the evidence that causes some scholars to make the claim that the New Testament Gospels, or first few books of the Bible, were written completely by anonymous authors. In religious circles, of course, it's said that God himself was the author of, or at least the inspiration, for the Bible, which was transcribed by a series of humble vessels. But to that point, historians have their own take on who wrote the Bible mainly by using eternal clues and writing styles. Just as English speakers can roughly date a book that uses a lot of these and thous, Bible scholars can contrast the styles of these early books to create profiles of the different authors. In each case, these writers are talked about as if they were a single person, but each author could just as easily be an entire school of people writing in a single style. Above all, what we know for sure in terms of physical evidence is that the Bible was primarily written on parchment or animal skin with ink. Many of these ancient biblical texts have been discovered through archaeological excavations in Egypt and in caves near the Dead Sea, while others were handed down and preserved in libraries of monasteries. So what did we learn here? While we may never know who officially wrote the Bible, the truth remains the same. Whether you believe in it or not, the Bible has done more to shape literature, history, entertainment, and culture than any book ever written. And the person or entity that wrote it may be above or somewhere else in the universe. What do you think?